Venezuela is on the brink. Violent clashes unfolded in the streets this week as opposition leader Juan Guaido urged his supporters to drive President Nicolas Maduro from office. It's the culmination of a social and economic crisis that has been brewing for years. Who is underway right now in Venezuela? Tear gas canisters fired into this crowd in Venezuela. Venezuela has the biggest oil reserves in the world, even larger than Saudi Arabia. But its once booming economy faltered under the rule of hardline socialist Hugo Chavez. After Chavez died in 2013, Maduro became president, but things only got worse for most of the people in Venezuela. It's no secret that Venezuela's economy has seen a catastrophic crash in recent years. Hyperinflation, food shortages, the collapse of the medical care system. People have fled the anguish inflicted by the socialist Maduro regime. Those problems have driven more than three million people out of the country since 2014. In May 2018, a chance for change with new elections. But amid reports of intimidation and vote rigging, Maduro claimed victory over Juan Guaido. The United States and about 50 other countries denounced the election and decided to recognize Guaido, who had his own swearing in, as the legitimate president. President Trump officially recognized the president of the Venezuelan National Assembly, Juan Guaido, as the interim president of Venezuela. Maduro, who was backed by Russia, clung to power, exerting control over the military. But power and water shortages, and now U.S. sanctions on oil exports, fueled unrest. The power struggle exploded on Monday with scenes of chaos. An armored vehicle running over a group of Guaido supporters and Guaido himself at an airbase, calling for the military to defect. Dozens have been injured. In Washington, officials were keeping a close watch. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said Maduro had a jet on the tarmac in Caracas, and he had a message for the embattled leader. Fire up the plane. 